Here's a solution for this ladder logic timing diagram. Just to quickly introduce this bit of ladder logic, we've got two inputs here. It's rather small writing, but I08 and I011. And you can see that they are different symbols. So I08 is a normally open symbol, meaning that the logic turns on when the input is on, whereas I011, the logic turns off when the input is on. So it's going to be important for us when we get into doing our timing diagram. The other part here, the parallel branch, that's labelled Q00. That one's known as a latching type of contact. So that allows us the logic circuit to stay live even after the original inputs have gone back to their reset states. So we'll go through the steps in this to see how this is working. We can see right at the beginning here, we've got our two inputs switched off. And then our first change is the input I011 changing from an off state to an on state. When that one turns on, we know the logic does the opposite, it turns off that logic. So that makes sure that our output has to stay off for that time. The next state, going to both of our inputs being off. Again, because we have an off state with our first input, I08, that's going to mean that our output cannot turn on. So there's another square staying at the off state. Now our transition, I08 turns on, and at the same time we have I011 being in an off state. So this is the logic that we need to make our output turn on. And that's going to stay on at least until this point. And after here, when I08 turns itself off, this is where the latching becomes evident. So we've got the same name for this Q00 here as the address of the output of this logic circuit. So that particular combination is what we know as latching. And it means that when we have the circuit turned on, it's going to stay turned on until something forces it to stop. In this case, the one that can force it to stop is the I011. When that one, when the actual input turns on, the logic in this program will turn off. So it's a state that's going to interrupt that logic flow and turn off our output. We get to another state when we have both inputs in the off state. So we already know that it was the same as back in this point. So the same thing, our output stays off here. And now we have our input I08 turning on. That's the same as we had back here at the same time as our input I011 is staying off. So our output is going to turn on and the latching effect means that it stays on until it gets the pulse from I011 which makes it turn off. And one more line of logic to do in here which is rung 1 just saying that Q00 is going to be the opposite state to Q01. So we'll just draw these through immediately as the opposite. So there we have it. That's our example of showing a simple circuit, logic circuit with two inputs and a latching contact. So the latching part becomes very evident when we're looking at this period of time here. When both of our inputs are in the off state saying that normally the circuit should be off but our output has stayed on because we've got this latching effect and the same thing in this part of the circuit as well. So I hope that's ex helped to explain how timing diagrams can be useful to show how circuits are operating and I'm going to make another video for you soon.